Hey guys, it's Ayuzi, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to be a successful designer and make tons of Robux. So my first tip would have to be to create a simple username. You're going to want it to be an easy username that people are going to be able to remember, so you don't want it to be too long, and you're going to want to stick to that username. I've seen designers, popular designers, go change their username and have people come back and say like who the heck is that person so you're gonna want to stick to that username so that people begin to recognize the name and that when people hear it they'll know that it's you my second tip is to design clothes that you like you shouldn't solely make an outfit just because it's the thing that's in style or popular you need to be creating designs that are unique because if you're creating designs that are similar to other people's, people are going to buy the clothes from other people if you're not that popular. So you need clothes that are going to set you apart from other designers and make sure they're unique so that people will come towards you because you have something new to offer. My third tip is to give your outfits a creative title. When it comes to makeup or other products similar to that, the companies just don't name it blue eyeshadow or whatnot. Instead, they give it some creative name, like Freshwater Blue or Electric Sky. So you're going to want to do the same thing with your clothing so that people are interested and it draws their attention. My fourth tip is probably the most important you'll get out of this video, and that is to sell your clothes at the lowest selling price. So that is currently 5 Robux. If you do this, more people will be able to buy your clothes, and if more people are buying your clothes, more people will wear it and your name will get out there more. I've heard other designers make the argument that they work super hard, so they need to jack their prices up super high. But that's not good. If your prices are high, no one's going to buy your clothes and you're not going to get anywhere. You're just going to sit there and only a few people will buy your clothes and that will not help you. My fifth tip is to take designing requests. And I suggest you do this in the beginning stages of your designing career. I guess I'll call it that. But anyways, do that in the beginning so that way your name gets out there. And the reason why I don't really suggest doing it towards the end, like <laughs> after that, is because you're going to lose your passion for it. If you're constantly designing clothes that other people want and that you don't really like, it's just going to feel like a chore and it's not going to be as fun as it would be if you're making clothes that you enjoy. My sixth tip is probably what helped me the most, and that was joining lots of small groups. And when you're within those small groups, you're going to be creating clothes for them. And the members of the group are going to see that you're making awesome clothes for them, so they're going to love you. And you're going to kind of build up a small little fan base there. And these small groups are going to become dependent on you since they don't really have anyone else to be designing for them. But in contrast, with large groups, uh, they have tons of people who are going to be designing for them. So you're going to have competition. So I suggest not joining them because uh, you're not really going to like be noticed that much and because a lot of large groups are bad. My seventh tip is to run advertisements. This is especially good around holidays and the summer when lots of people are online and Around Christmas time, people get Robux gift cards, so if they see that you're advertising these clothes, they're going to have Robux and they're going to buy them. But I suggest not spending too much on ads because it's kind of like a gamble because you never know if your advertisement's going to be successful or not and you don't want to lose that much Robux on the ad. My eighth tip, and more of a rule, is to not copy because first off, I will hate you, and two, because it's very rude. If you're taking clothes from other people, no one's gonna like you, and you're gonna lose tons of respect, and no one's gonna buy your clothes. <laughs> so, do not copy. If you don't know how to make something, and you borrow a friend's shoes, let's say, but they give you permission, be sure to leave in the description that they gave you permission, so that people know who the original creator of it is. And do not redistribute templates that your friends have given you, because you suck if you do. My ninth tip is another salty one, and that's to not be a kiss up. Because when you're sending designers messages saying, oh my gosh, I love your clothes so much. It would really mean the world to me if you checked out my clothes. You're my idol. Oh my gosh, be my friend. Like, mm, no thank you. We know you're a kiss up. We know you're fake. You're just trying to use us. So don't do that. Just be successful on your own because respect is not given, it is earned. 
My 10th tip is to ask for feedback. I actually really love it when I get these messages, when people send me links to their clothing saying, hey, can you check out these clothes I designed? I want to know what you think of it, like how can I improve? So you can send those out to designers, and I suggest you send links instead of just saying like, hey, check out my inventory, because they're more likely to reply. It's just easier if we know what you want us to check out, instead of just looking in your inventory and be like, hey, well, it looks great. So send us links and we will give you our feedback. So those were my 10 tips. Hopefully you're like super rich now and like very successful. But anyways, if you saw my Robux throughout the video, you'd see that I've made over a million Robux. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome to me. Why do I just say this? Anyways, I'm going to be making a video of me cashing it out through DevX in a few days. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.